Good morning guys, how are we all? Welcome back to the vlog. My t-shirt is glowing white in this light. Truthfully, the lighting is so tragic today. I've tried to start this vlog in about five different rooms of my house. We're now currently in the master bedroom, which I don't actually think you've even been in here yet. I don't think you have, I mean, there's not a lot to see. There's a bed, a couple of side tables, a couple of lights, some wardrobes that were here when I moved in. Truthfully, this room is actually gonna change into a different room. It's no longer gonna be the master bedroom. So I'll probably give you a room tour of this in a minute and tell you the plans I've got for it. But first, I want to show you my outfit that I was hoping I was gonna wear today, but it's not gonna happen because, well, it's pouring with rain. This morning it was sunny, but now this outfit is just not weather appropriate. But you need to see it because it's really cute. And it's actually all from Abercrombie and Fitch because in this video, I am very proudly working with them. I placed an order with them about, I wanna say three weeks ago now, and I very much had spring in mind. So I picked up some very spring inspired pieces. And this jacket and this full outfit actually is one of my faves. I mean, guys, look at this jacket. Let me show you up close. So it's like tweed with the gold button detail, which I love. I'm gonna move you around to here so I can show you full length. Is this camera angle okay? If I move back, can you see my shoes? Can you see the outfit in full? You're so far away now, like I can't really see myself. But can you see how good my Chanel ballet flats? Let me show you like this. Look with this jacket. I mean, tell me now this isn't spring in an outfit. I feel like it's giving chic, sophisticated spring queen, if I do say so myself. So the jacket I'm wearing in a size medium, as I already mentioned, it's got these really gorgeous gold buttons, which I love a jacket with gold buttons. You might notice I have a fair few of them in my wardrobe and that is because I wear gold jewellery and I also have a lot of gold hardware on my bags and I feel like the gold accent on jackets like this match with my jewellery in my bag. I feel like it just looks really nice personally and I feel like it really elevates my outfits. That's just my opinion. The jacket is gorgeous quality, it is double lined so it's definitely going to keep you warm but it's not hot like a coat so I think it's going to be perfect in these transitional months as we move away from coats into something a little bit lighter as hopefully the weather gets a little bit better. Then my jeans are actually a favourite of mine from Abercrombie. These are the low rise baggy jeans and for me they are a perfect fit. They are the perfect length, I wear these in a size waist 25 leg length 30. The great thing is about them though is they have a raw hem so you can cut them a little bit. I know that sounds a little bit risky, I used to always be so scared about cutting jeans but it's actually not hard at all, especially if they already have a raw hem, you can kind of snip them and adjust them as you wish. But the fit of these are great. I've mentioned this a number of times, but I have a very short torso. So for me, a low rise jean is perfect. It still comes just below my belly button. Whereas if I wear a high rise jean, they come up to my boobs and it, they just don't really look great on my body type, if I'm completely honest, where these fit me like a dream. I love them. They are stunning. I also have them in a dark blue colour. I also have them in black, which I'll show you in a minute. Something I always find with jeans, if you find a pair that fits you right, buy them in every colour going. And luckily, Abercrombie do these in lots of different colours, which is just fantastic. So this is the first look that I picked up. But I have a few more to show you, so hold your horses. Now the next thing I picked up it's definitely similar in style. You'll notice that it has the gold button detail on it just here. But this is more of a cardigan. It's knitted and you might notice it's in the colour grey. This does actually come and I think at least two different colours. It definitely comes in cream and I think I'm right in saying it also comes in black as well. I personally love the length of this cardigan as well. Like it doesn't come down too long. It's the perfect length to wear with jeans. I adore these little pockets as well. And I think it looks really nice worn like this with a t-shirt underneath. And if I put my picketing back on, I also think it looks really nice with like the tan accessories. I'm not saying I love my ballet flats with this. I think I need a tan shoe to kind of complete the whole look. But these cardigans are just something that are so great to have in your wardrobe. They kind of just finish off any outfit. And let's face it, I'm wearing a really basic white tee. So this cardigan just kind of pulls it all together. I just think it looks really lovely. Size wise, in my experience, I do think that these cardigans size a little bit small. I pick this up in a size medium and I'm usually a size medium or a size UK 10 in pretty much everything but this I wish I'd got in a size large it don't get me wrong it fits me just fine but I always prefer things to be a little bit bigger rather than smaller 
and I feel like I could have just done with this being slightly bigger where with the jacket I could have actually sized down in that truthfully but I think that's just something to note when you're shopping online size wise but another outfit I think looks very cute and is very much making me excited for spring praying for sun I'm actually going to take these blue jeans off and show you them in black as well but before I do I feel like they just need a little bit more recognition because I've worn these to death just recently if you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen both on stories and on my feed I've worn them a number of times and they just go so nicely with everything like honestly such a great jean and also the great thing is about Abercrombie is they do petite they do tall they do a curve range they do jeans to suit every body type which is really rare in the jean world you know I feel like it's so difficult to find good jeans but Abercrombie do them so well so here are the black pair on you may or may not notice these are a little bit baggier the reason for that, sorry, if you're wondering why I keep looking here, it's because there's a mirror. But the reason they do look baggy is because I sized up in these. So these are a size 26 waist. These are a size 25. You might also, well, you're not really going to be able to see, but let me see if I move back. You might see that these have a regular hem where these have a frayed hem. But you'll see on the Abercrombie website, each jean, you can kind of choose what you like. So some of them have different hems, some of them are different lengths, they're different colours. Like, there's so many to choose from. Um, but I've actually worn these black ones a fair few times in the last few weeks. I just find they go with everything. Like, they're so easy to wear. And I wear a lot of black in my wardrobe, you guys know. I'm basically in black in every single vlog. It's like my comfort to wear black. So these have been perfect. And once again, I really love how they fit. And I just couldn't speak more highly of these Abercrombie jeans. Some of you might remember this full outfit from my Instagram from a couple of weeks ago. I wore it to lunch in London and I really, really loved it. I mean, how cute is this? Sorry, can you hear the floorboards in this room creaking? They all need, apparently I've been told, they all need um, talcum powder put on them. Have any of you heard that before? When I have the carpets changed, I'm having someone like oil and talcum powder them. Apparently also tighten the screws. So yeah, okay, it's not gonna do it now, but they're a little bit creaky. Something I love so much about this jacket is I do actually own a couple of blazers in this print, but whenever I wear them, I feel like they look very formal. Where this is more of a bomber jacket style, you might notice that it's got an elasticated waist, it's got these pockets, which makes it look very chilled. So it's almost like a very chilled take on a very formal print, if that makes any sense. And you know what, I am actually gonna show you it on with these jeans, show you how nice it looks against blue. Wow, is the sun deciding to come back out? It'll probably last five minutes, it'll be raining again in 30 seconds. But here are the blue jeans on with the jacket. See, it just kind of makes it a little bit brighter and a little bit more of like a spring-like outfit, you know? But now I'm gonna get changed for the last time before we head out. What did I tell you? It's sunny, but it's also raining at the same time. Like the weather just can't help itself. It just has to rain every day. But this is the outfit I'm going to wear just because it's comfy, it's casual and there's a hood to protect my hair from the rain. I'm going to be honest, I wore this hoodie yesterday. It is slightly creased because I chucked it on the floor last night. I'm exposing myself and the mess that I am, but it is what it is. But it's so soft, like I wish you could feel this material through the screen. It's just so cosy. I picked this up in a size large. It is also from Abercrombie. Because I don't feel like many people know this, but they do such good basics from hoodies, joggers, t-shirts, pajamas. Like honestly, the quality of their basics, like everything else is so good. And I'm such a fan of their hoodies and things. But I might wear a jacket. Some of you might actually remember this jacket from a haul that I did. I think it was before Christmas now. This is also from Abercrombie. I mean, how many times have I said that word in this video? Take a shot every single time. I say the word Abercrombie and you will be smashed, okay? But this is also from them. It's very oversized. I picked it up in a size, I think it's extra large, but it's perfect for layering with. And I love this whole look with like a hoodie underneath. I think it looks very cool and it looks really nice with my trainers as well. But truthfully, even though it's raining, the weather has warmed up a little bit. So I think I'm gonna be a little bit hot in this jacket, but I'm gonna take it anyway. And I can always leave it in the car. But before I go, let me just remind you all that everything I've just featured will of course be linked down below with all of the size and the things to hopefully help you guys out if you did want to shop anything. But I'm also going to give you a quick room tour of this room and tell you the plans before we get in the car. Right, quick master bedroom tour. Going to be honest, there's not really a lot to see guys. In terms of furniture and stuff, it's exactly the same furniture as I had in my London apartment. Like everything is still the same. I just don't see the point in buying anything 
when everything is going to be changed in a few months so I'm just making use of everything I've got so this bed is a king size bed just to give you a rough idea of how big the room is I just ran downstairs to get a new battery for my camera and I now can't breathe I'm out of breath it's embarrassing either side of my bed I have my bedside tables and as you can see a nice big gap like it's a lovely size room there's also these built-in wardrobes which are very nice but they are going to be taken out I mean I feel really bad doing it but the black just isn't really to my taste, but they are really, really lovely. You know, all these drawers and stuff, which I haven't put anything in. Um, but yeah, they're just not my style. So these will be going at some point. Um, but for now, this is how it, how it is, you know? And if I pan over this side, you will see that there is a pile of clothes on the floor, some sheets and just <laughs> crap. Here is a full length mirror. There I am. Hi guys. And in here is the bathroom which I don't want you to judge the state of this bathroom because truthfully it has not been being used. I mean, it might've been used once because there is some shower gel in there. I personally haven't had a shower in here at all. Reese may have done once, but it's basically been used as like a dumping ground for paint and things like that. As you'll see, there's white spirit and goggles by the sink. We're not washing our face with white spirit just to let you know. But this is the ensuite bathroom to the master bedroom. If everything was kind of cleaned up, I mean, I did actually have it all cleaned when I moved in, but if everything was all cleaned up properly, it would actually be quite a nice bathroom. I know it is a fair few years old now, um, but at the same time, it's still a really nice bathroom, um, but it will be being done at some point. I'm gonna insert some photos of some kind of ideas I have for this room. And yeah, I'm very excited to have it all like fresh and new. Here is the basin from this angle once again. Please do not judge this situation. I probably should have cleaned it before I put it on camera, but just to say we haven't been using it, this is paint in the sink and on the side, like, yeah. And here is the paint that is in question. This is the other side of the bathroom. There are tools, there are roller brushes, blue roll, and that is not what we wipe our bum with, okay? Just to quickly say, this is all just stuff that was used to paint the bedroom itself. But this is actually a really nice big ensuite bathroom. Truthfully, this door is kind of awkward because when it comes back, it whacks on the ceiling, you see? So I'm thinking what I'd like to do is put, you know, like almost like a double door thing here. And I think we just really open up the space. On camera, nothing looks as big as it is in real life, but it is a really, really nice size bathroom. And as you can see, it goes into what is currently the master bedroom. And the reason I'm saying it's currently the master bedroom is because obviously that's currently what it is. But my plans for this room is it's going to become my dressing room. And that might sound crazy because a lot of you are probably thinking, why would you need a dressing room of this size? Good question. As lots of you already know, I love shoes, clothes and everything else in between. And it's always been my dream since as long as I can remember to have a huge walk-in wardrobe. And so I thought what not better idea than to make it the biggest room in the house. All jokes aside, I'd just like to say this won't actually end up being the biggest bedroom. It will probably be the third biggest, which is why it's gonna be my dressing room. As I mentioned in a previous vlog, I'm having the other side of the house extended. So those rooms will become almost double the size that they are right now. So they are gonna be really, really big rooms, which allows this room to be my dressing room. That is the current plan anyway but things might change and I will update you with architect things and all the rest of it later on in this vlog but for now we need to get in the car because we need to be back here by 3 30 because Reese wants to watch the football but I also want him to help me come to Argos and pick up some rails so let's go something I'm going to tell you is one of the worst choices in my life was getting cream seats in a car bad choice that wasn't it you've got your best outfit on for the day have you Lovely socks, lovely. Here we are. It makes me sad they don't actually have like yeah. physical Argos catalogs anymore. Do you remember when you was young, you used to get the Argos catalog and like circle all the things you wanted for Christmas? The goods are secured. Just got home, don't know if you can hear the football is already on. We were like racing home because Reese wanted to watch the football. Look at the state of the kitchen. <laughs> like, oh, what a mess is this place. We've just left it like this, well, I wouldn't say a weekend, it's because we made breakfast this morning and then we just left it, so it's just been like this for 24 hours. I grabbed some bits from Waitrose, got dinner for tonight. Also picked up some really pretty tulips. Look at these, so nice. The sun is really out now as well. This is like the only corner of the entire kitchen that looks half put together. In fact, I think it's the only corner of the entire house <laughs> that looks slightly put together. I mean, yeah. By the way, my mum's friend Debbie bought me this gorgeous orchid. How pretty is it? This looks so sweet on my windowsill. I should also give you an update on the blossom tree. 
Oh, listen to the birds. I have Reese's shoes on. Sexy. The grass is extremely muddy. The birds are being very loud. But here's an update on the magnolia tree. Guys, look at this. I feel like I'm about to enter my gardening era. I didn't realize I could get so much joy from watching a tree blossom. I feel like the reason I've been so excited about this is because we didn't know what color, well, I'm saying when we, it was my mum and I, we were discussing like what color we thought this tree was gonna be because they can either be bright pink, kind of like white or a pale pink. And I think as you can see, these are gonna be a pale pink. How pretty. Some of the buds a little bit further up, I've just jumped to get this. Like it's opened a little bit more. All little buds waiting to open down here and I feel like it's gonna blossom so beautifully. It's just making me so excited. This flower over here has kind of died on me though. Like I don't know what this is, very pretty. But like, look at the rest of the bush. Like what happened there? We've also got this cactusy thing going on. So if any of you have any ideas what this is, let me know. When I put this on the vlog last time, lots of you told me that this flower is a camellia. It's the same flower that Chanel use on their bags. I mean, how fitting. But this is actually going strong over here. Look how pretty it is. In the last vlog, I actually filled this thing up and within 24 hours, it was empty because the squirrels are like maniacs. Like they are too much. I can't keep up with them to be honest. I feel like I should put some more feed out because I haven't for a little while. These olives, if I can get them open, are the best olives ever. They're a little bit small compared to how they usually are. They are Nos... I don't know how to say it. How do you say this? I'm unsure. But these are the best olives ever. They're so buttery and delicious. Well, so far on my bird feeder, I've just got one really fat pigeon. I feel like this bird just actually lives in my garden. Every time I look out the window, he's there. I've really had to zoom in because if I open the doors, it will scare him off. And he's right at the end of the garden, so I'm on like the maximum zoom possible. But can you see him? Honestly, he's such a fatty. What should we call him? Barry? Paul. Maybe Paul the pigeon. He's bloody huge. Well, we are a little bit tidier in here, which is feeling very nice. And my tulips, I've just put in the sink for now in some water. And I'll put them into a vase a little bit later. I also wanted to show you this little tray my mum got me. I think she got it from Tesco's. I might be wrong but it's part of Stacey Solomon's collection. It's really pretty. And my hand moisturizer and soap sit on it really nicely. By the way, I just thought to myself, I have a question for you guys. How often should I water this orchid? Because I don't want it to end up the same as, I don't even know what this is. My mum got it, is it coriander? It's looking very sorry for itself. Speaking of plants, I've had a bit of a tragedy. Do any of you remember this plant that has lived with me for the last three years? My friends got it for me. It was for my birthday, it was the first year I moved to London. So it's my birthday next month, so it will almost be three years old. I'm sure the plant is older than three years, but you know, it's been in my care for three years. And it has been fine, but suddenly this has happened. I did notice it started to happen before we moved, because truthfully, as we were packing up the flat, Ree said, are you gonna take this plant? And I was like, yeah, obviously. And he said, well, it's nearly dead. And it was only at that point that I realized it barely had any leaves left. When my sister came over, by the way, sorry about the noise with the football. When my sister came over, she has this app on her phone, which tells you what's wrong with a plant. And apparently it has a disease. I don't know why I'm touching it, but I don't think you can catch the disease. I mean, you can't, it's literally just some plant disease. But like, I feel really bad. I have just noticed though, there's a new leaf coming up here. Shall I chop all these other leaves off and see if it will just grow again? Because this is looking awful, isn't it? It's looking very sorry for itself. And I do feel really guilty. But I feel like I've been a good plant mum until now. I don't think it likes sunlight either, so I should probably move it away from this door. But yeah, what do you think, guys? Give us some advice on this. Shall I chop the leaves off and just see if this grows? Or just give up on it altogether? I can't give up on it. I'm gonna make myself a quick mint tea before I go upstairs and tidy up there. By the way, these are the best mint tea bags around. Tea pigs, delicious, and they're pure mint as well. I should really be using this mug in the morning, given what it says. <laughs> I actually have another one here, 
and it says dreamer can you see it just there and they are absolutely huge mugs i love them they were actually a gift from my very lovely very family i work with very uk over on instagram on a monthly basis they're one of my favorite brands to work with i just love the whole team so much and when i moved into my house they sent me the most beautiful package and there are a number of things inside but one of the things was this set of mugs and I really love them. So one says good morning and the other one says dreamer. I will actually show you something else that they sent me because it's lovely. I'm actually gonna show you two things, but the first candle, as I said, was from Very. So along with the mugs, they got me a few other bits and they got me, it smells insane, but they got me the most gorgeous dip tea candle. Look, it's in a pink color and it smells like roses. Honestly, how pretty is this? And another room in the house, I haven't actually shown you yet, it is very small, but it's the downstairs loo. But I have, and have I shown you that actually? I don't think I have, have I? But my idea for that room is actually to make it pink because my favorite color is pink. Have I told you this? I feel like I've told you this. I'm so sorry if I'm repeating myself. I can't think, but let me just tell you anyway. But my favorite color is pink. However, I like neutrals because I just know I'll get bored of color. So the whole of the house, let's face it, is gonna be very earthy, neutral tones. But the downstairs loo is gonna be all pink. That's the plan anyway. So I feel like this candle is gonna look so beautiful in there. So I'm so happy with that. And it was honestly the most thoughtful gift. And also such a surprise, like I didn't expect anything like that. And this was a gift from my lovely Quarterly family. As many of you know, I love Quarterly skincare so, so much. And I've been so lucky to work with them on a couple of campaigns over the last few years. But I genuinely use this skincare non-stop. Like, I just love it so much and it loves my skin so much as well. But the team so kindly sent me a Loewe. Can you believe it? A Loewe candle for a home warming present. And it smells incredible. I believe this is the hazelnut one. Like, it's quite a sweet scent. But also quite smoky at the same time. And it's a really dark brown, if not black, actually. I think it might be black. It's got the Loewe logo just here and on the top just there and some of you might already know i have the big giant nueve candle in white so i think these two like next to each other will look insane but i'm going to be honest both of these things are staying in their boxes until the house is i want to say finished but that could be a really long time i mean i don't want to say a really long time but it's not going to be next week put it that way um but yeah i feel like i should save these until i decorate It is so nice that the evenings are getting lighter. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's starting to get dark now, but it just feels so nice that it's still kind of light after 5 p.m. Like, it's lovely. Summer is well on the way. Anyway, here are the rails that I picked up from Argos today. And the reason I went and got these beauties is because, well, let me show you. Like, this room is quite honestly doing my head in. Whenever I go anywhere, like I'm going out and I want to wear a top or something like that. I am pulling this place apart, trying to find my stuff. So I need to just get everything out of these boxes. I need to get rid of the boxes and create some kind of order in here because I can't live like this any longer. Like it's, it's just stressing me out. This room is also full of my stuff. And this is a mess as well. So just everything needs tidying up and just organizing. And I truthfully was gonna leave everything in boxes and as a mess until I started work on the house, or until the work was finished on the house. But I think I was being a little bit naive and also just clueless on how long the work is going to take. And even though as of this week, I finally decided on what architect I'm going with because I spoke to a few, and I was um and ahhing, but I finally decided who I'm gonna go with and hopefully he will have the drawings over to me within the next 10 days. But after that, I then have to apply for planning. Planning can take, I think it's eight to 12 weeks. And even though that doesn't sound that long in my head, it's actually three months. So by then, let's say we submit the plans the end of March. And if you count three months, so April, May, June, I should get the plans back around then, hopefully. I mean, with any luck, it might be even quicker, but let's say like the end of June, and fingers crossed they get approved on the first round but who's to say but if they do then the work can start joke is as i thought that all the work would be finished by summer and i'd have a great summer party but it doesn't really look like it's going to be the case i mean you know the work there's not loads to do but 
yeah, I feel like it's going to be more like the end of the summer before anything's finished. So I just decided in my head, I can't live in this mess, in this chaos until then. Like my plan in my head of just leaving everything, it can't continue. So I've gone and bought these rails. We're going to do some makeshift kind of dressing room sort of situation just to, you know, see us through the next few months. Anyway, I need to get these jeans off. I hate being in outdoor clothes inside my house. I don't know if any of you guys feel like that, but honestly, as soon as I get home, I either put my pajamas on or some kind of loungewear. Like I can't cope. I also, always have to take off my rings. They kind of give me mild claustrophobia. I don't know if any of you feel like that as well. I'm really hoping you guys can't see the floor in here. I can't really see on the camera if you can. I'm hoping you can't because it's embarrassingly messy. But the trousers I've got on, they're actually from Abercrombie. They're just a little loungewear set. Comes with a top as well, where you buy them as separates. But I'm not gonna put the top on just because I've got this t-shirt on and this is fine. They're so comfy, they're so soft, and they're just great for lounging around the house. Part of me right now wants to organize my clothes, and the other part of me right now wants to go and start dinner, because I don't really want to eat late tonight. Maybe I'll set up the rails, and then I'll go and cook. Update up on the landing. It's now turned into a clothes shop. <laughs> I have got two rails nearly full of things. The room in here is looking a little bit, a tiny bit tidier. Have a lot of stuff on the floor, you know, but we're making small, slow improvements. Good morning, guys. I left you last night. I can't even remember where. We had dinner. I actually made quite a big dent in that messy room that's currently my wardrobe. And I'm now at the gym. The gym. You heard that correctly. I'm at the gym. I can't really believe I'm here. Reese has basically dragged me along. It's Monday, so I'm starting the week off right. Let's go get fit, kids. We've got, what, like three months, four months till summer? If that, what is it? We're March, April, May, June, July. Summer starts in June. We need to get it. 15 minute incline walk. Let's go. Reese is making us a circuit. I'm a little bit scared. What is he gonna get me to do? Here we go, this is what you're doing next. Nice ass. <laughs> I am so proud of myself for making it to the gym this morning. The workout was actually quite hard. You know, Reese trained me and I'm planning on making it to the gym every day this week. So let's see how that goes. Anyway, let's get in the shower. Let's have some brunch. I've got some work to do, and then we need to carry on with this room. Well, breakfast is served. So I actually have gone for kefir yogurt which I've been eating a fair bit of this, you know, it's meant to be really good for your gut. So I have it with strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, a little bit of granola, a tiny bit of peanut butter and a drizzle of honey. I'm not saying it's the healthiest breakfast in the world, but I really fancied it. How cute are these bowls, by the way? I got them from Tesco's the other day. I think they're really sweet. I've got a cup of mint tea. Actually, this whole setup looks very aesthetic, doesn't it? I didn't really mean it to be. Might take a picture of this for Instagram stories. Well. I have been really bad with vlogging today because all I've been doing is working. I've been sat working all day. It's now currently 5 p.m. I'm hoping this vlog is gonna be live this evening. So I am going to end this here. By the way, look how terrible I look. I've had like an ugly day with a hair mask in, please ignore me. But yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here because I want to start a new vlog tomorrow and I wanna get this live tonight. But as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I shall hopefully see you in my next one. Have a great week, everyone. Love you loads. Goodbye.